Now that's a direct prediction of Einstein's theory of relativity from the external perspective. If you watched, for example, an astronaut falling in towards a black hole, then from your external perspective, you'd see their time pass more slowly, slower and slower and slower as the astronaut approached the black hole until on the horizon, you would see their time stop. That suggested to many people in the early days that a star couldn't collapse to form a black hole. It confused them. They thought, well, if a star's collapsing, then does it not freeze forever in some sense on the horizon? So all sorts of so initial early conceptual problems, which ultimately were solved. The thing about relativity, just the one sentence thing to understand, is that time can stop from one perspective, but time can pass at the usual rate from another perspective. And indeed, uh, from the perspective of an astronaut falling into a black hole, then for a sufficiently large black hole, like the ones that we find at the centres of galaxies, the astronaut would notice nothing at all as they fell across the horizon into the interior of the black hole. So time passes at one second per second on the watch of an astronaut falling in, but from the external perspective, time freezes on the horizon. So black holes are full of these um, apparent conceptual challenges, which are actually not conceptual challenges at all. 